not consume while eating the candy collected from trick-or-treating. And today, the Oneida County Sheriff's Office sent out some reminders to help kids and parents stay safe while going door-to-door -to -door tomorrow. Eyewitness News reporter Jessica Landman explains the Sheriff's advice. Halloween is tomorrow, and the Sheriff's Department wanted to put out some safety reminders to all those enjoying the holiday by trick-or-treating. To those wearing costumes, they recommend reflective stickers or glow sticks so that children are more easily seen, as well as wearing costume accessories that are soft or flexible rather than hard or sharp to avoid accidental injury. When trick-or-treating, they recommend walking with a trusted adult, carrying a flashlight, being sure to adhere to all normal road safety rules, inspecting all candy for tampering, and if a house's lights are not on, do not stop at that house. As for those giving out treats tomorrow, they recommend making sure that walkways and lawns are well lit, putting away anything that children could trip over, and make sure to have your pets under control. And for the people driving anywhere, slow down and be alert, especially in residential areas. Take extra time looking at intersections and be aware when you're entering or exiting driveways. The Sheriff's Department wants everyone to have a fun but stay safe tomorrow, so these are just some things that parents and kids can watch out for when trick-or-treating. Reporting in Utica, I'm Jessica Landman, Eyewitness News, First at 10. Utica police have arrested a man accused of a stabbing in Cornhill last night.